Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Terry at Holding Your Space and this is a video about Elon Musk and the energy that I see or feel when I go into his energy. Um, so I did a remote view and it's a heart-centered remote view and you kind of abide in your heart space and your solar plexus. Um, you just kind of tap into the energy of the individual and um, see what's going on at that time and space. So I did this yesterday. I recorded it a couple of times and there were some things going on around the house and around the energy field. So I redid it today. Um, something's going to happen that's going to kind of change his outlook. Not sure what it is, but something um, very important to him. Um, his heart is a little sore. Um, like a heartburn perhaps, or um, perhaps something happened within his circle um, that kind of changed his outlook on things. So um, we wish him all the best. Um, he's very at ease in his solar plexus, so he feels kind of um, clear. He knows what he wants. Also in his sight, he knows what he wants. He can speak clearly, though he doesn't often think before he talks. Um, he has a plan. <laughs> he has three different versions of this plan. Um, plan A is to take over Texas. So I think he already has a couple of plants in Texas. Um, he's thinking he might add a couple more to that. So, and really solidify what he has down there. Um, plan B, Mexico. He might have something in Mexico already. I think he's kind of feeling around to where he's going to put this new idea that he's working on. Um, it might be in Mexico. He's a little worried about the cartels down there. Um, but business is business. Oops. Sorry, guys. There's my yoga mats. <laughs> and um, it is what it is, right? Ooh, there we go. Back. Um, so plan C is India. So he does like India. He likes um, the work ethics. He likes that there's so many people um, that he could employ there. Um, he doesn't like all the noise. So, um, you know, in India is India, right? When you go to the East, um, the streets are everybody's honking and everybody's driving fast or, you know, not watching the street lights in a lot of the places. And um, uh, you've got bikes and trucks and cars and everybody's going in different directions, different ways, and everybody's honking at the same time. And then people are trying to walk through that with their cow. So there you have it. That's it. Um, he's not so sure about India. So um, he's thinking about it. All right. Um, and part of that is because of his... Um, awareness of um, sensories, sensory overstimulation, perhaps. Um, he's gotten rid of a lot of that, but there still is some. So he is rather insulated. He tries not to be insulated, but he is insulated by his money, his status. Also, he's insulated that his brain thinks differently than others. And a lot of us feel this when we're growing up, right? We are kind of a rebel or we're not accepted by everyone. Um, our brain works differently. And his brain has always worked differently. So he's always been an outsider. He might feel like a bit of a rock star right now, <laughs> which he kind of is, right? A lot of the stuff that he does. I know we're not crazy about a lot of it, but he is well known. He's notorious. And, um, and that's the song that's coming in. But he's also just always been on the outskirts. And he looks at people that accept him now with a smile and a wave. Like, uh-huh, where was I before? You know, he's well aware of where he was before and where he is now. Um, okay, money can't buy you love is what he's saying. He's finding that out very truly. Um, he's very driven. His path forward, always forward, don't look back. So he's always in the now. Um, he's, he's just pushing, always pushing. And sometimes because of that, plans don't turn out the way that he likes them. But he's always pushing forward and he's, he's not perturbed by that usually. Usually it's just 
forward, forward, forward. He's he's getting things done. He's always in the now. Getting things done, getting things done. Not looking in the past and not looking forward. And um, lots of times great minds and you know, he's done a lot of great things, right, for the planet so far. And he's done some things and yeah. But um entertainment only. I feel like he has circled into the um, time continuum. Um, somehow he is able to know what the next thing is going to be. He doesn't always know how to obtain it, how to do it properly, but he knows what the next thing is going to be. He feels that, just like Leonardo invented a helicopter, right? Way back when. Um, he knows that these EV cars, he knows that the SpaceX, he knows um, that tunneling is going to be the next big thing. And and he tries to figure that out. He's either pulling it from that super conscious creative mind or he's figured out the time continuum and how to go about um, putting that into practice right now. Sorry about the dog. We have... Um, dumpster day outside today that's why I'm up early and all dressed up <laughs> I've been outside working the dumpster for everybody we do that on our block getting rid of things and cleansing and um and picking things out of the dumpster as well so okay um he says just look forward don't look back or dwell on the past um be in the now okay time he's figured that out he knows technology, what company to buy or invest in, but not why or how. Um, there's a younger version of him somewhere, and he's aware of this. I don't know if this is an AI version of him or if this is on a different time continuum, but there is a different version of him that he's aware of and in contact with somehow, or just it could be subconsciously aware of, but he is aware of this. Um, okay. I heard the word sledge. S-L-E-D-G-E. -E. So for some reason, he is very interested in this. Um, like a sledgehammer. Something is coming in like a sledgehammer. Um, rock star. He says, I am an outsider. Revels in being a outsider um there's a tall white woman that's coming in and i'm saying she's white because she reminds me of the pictures of merlin you know but she's very beautiful very tall long blonde hair not completely unlike his mother but different um beautiful that's my dog coming in tyler hi tyler <laughs> so this woman comes in and and she has a magic an enchantment with him so um, this could be what changes things in his community, changes him to being a little softer around the edges, a little more involved in the community. And he's saying, I'm changing the world with everything that I'm doing right now. Um, but, but in a softer way, I think it's going to come in. He's going to be looking more at how are his employees treated instead of looking forward at the bottom line. Um, it's going to change that evolution of that um she's a really beautiful entity that comes in she could be a guide but i i feel like she's going to be oh i forgot i was going to use my pendulum on this so um let's let it sit there we go so elon musk has a woman in white that comes in is she going to be in the physical will she be an angel <laughs> Will she be a physical angel, an entity born into a human hybrid? Yeah, so she will be in the physical form. Um, he wants more kids. He's really into that. He wants a lot of kids. Um, I see them having a community by a river, by a water source. Um, and, and something that he's going to start building, these communities. Um, so... Okay, his guides are all around him. They're trying to help him to uh, soften his edges. And he's just pushing forward like a sledgehammer. So, um, concepts. 
he grasps are unlike other humans. Um, he might be having a lot of contact with the galactics at this point. I don't know if he's aware of it or not. I think he is. So he grasps these things and the galactics are bringing him technology. Um, he's about to work on something cyborg, like a, uh, a chip or something that you can put inside your brain to help with, um, will this be to help with um, someone um, that has a genetic dysfunction or perhaps has something that's uh, an illness? Will this be to help with eyesight? So it helps with everything. So different ways that we can fine tune the brain um, and different little uh, chips. Okay, um, and, um, okay, so someone close to him uh, is very aware of this as well. This, this, uh, this has something to do with somebody close to him. Okay. Um, land is in your future, he says. Keep going. Keep going. So he's going to be buying a lot of land if he hasn't already. But um, land is gold, water is gold. Um, this new woman will bring him into a new visions of community. Right now, he just wants to get the job done. So, uh, move forward. Keep trying, he says. Make a choice. There's all this energy out here. And he says, make a choice. Just grab that energy and create something. It's really quite simple for him. He sees the... Um, quantum physics and he sees the field of infinite potential infinite potentiality and he can he can grasp that and put it into different things that he wants it to be in um, is he aware of the spiritual aspect of that and they say yes he is aware and and spirit is different for everybody right maybe it's just consciousness or energy um, for others it's a deity or God or the universe, but everybody has a different um, consciousness of that or a different presence of that. So um, let's see. Move forward, keep trying, make a choice. Pedal to the metal, he says. Put the pedal to the metal. He is driven in this lifetime. It's like he must have had another lifetime where he didn't was not able to put everything into form like Da Vinci. Um, he, uh, somebody in a past life that he knew these things, but, um, he was constricted either by the church or, uh, a government. And this time he is running free reign. And it's like, I think that's part of why he's so driven and keeps trying all these different things, not always thinking of the consequences of what he's doing. Um, okay. He sees light. He sees energy. He knows how to manipulate energy. And he says, that's all there is. He also said, this is all a game, a simulation. And we hear this from many people, right? Many uh, prophets, many uh, people that have been through near-death experiences, that this is a simulation. We create this. Like, our, my hand isn't solid. Um, this crystal isn't solid. It's energy in motion. It's in constant motion. And we are many creators. We do create our bedrooms. We create our lives. We create our emotions because of the way that we react to things, right? Um, okay, this is a game. And he says, play, baby, play. <laughs> that was funny. Play, baby, play. Okay, remember to let go and live. No fear. Um, run, he says, run to the light. So, a very interesting um, man. And I'll pull a few cards on him to see about his future. Let's see. I'm going to pull these. I think these are Kyle Gray Angel cards. Oh, okay. Ooh, okay. I love this guy. Sorry about that, you guys. <laughs> I've got a squeaky chair. I'm rearranging furniture today. So um, Archangel Azrael 
So tra change and transformation. And he is an agent of change. I mean, like him or don't like him. He is changing the world. Uh, Elon, thank you, Azriel, for leading me safely through this change. So he is leading us through major changes. We may not always like it. You know, change is fearful sometimes. Um, connecting with the music, again, he thinks he's a rock star. Um, he has that um, outsider's vision of himself um, that says, thank you, angels, for inspiring me through music. I think he gets his inspiration from the air, from harmony, from energy, pure energy. Ooh, and Archangel Zadkiel. So, um, again, transformation, major transformation. Thank you, Zadkiel, for supporting me to transform from my past challenges. So I think in his past life, something happened. He was not able to make the changes that he wanted to make on the planet. And he saw visions. He knew what was coming, but he was not allowed to do it. This time he is in a place where he can, and he is putting the pedal to the metal. Very interesting, man. Very interesting. So uh, anyway, I hope you like this. Please uh, comment if you would. Like and subscribe to my channel. And we'll be doing an energy update today too. So have a great day, everybody. Namaste. My light sees your light. Bye-bye.